we know that, uh, as people say, you know, uh, life goes on, and one of the things that we are all facing in our country from midnight tonight is going to be that increase in the price of fuel <coughs> on the back of the VAT increase. So we yeah. just thought, let's unpack that and give some tips uh, to our viewers if, if we can. Sure. It's a, it's a big price, a uh, mm. fuel price increase, but it's largely due to that 52 cents levy that yeah. was announced by the Minister of Finance in February. Sure. So we've got two different levies. We've got the general fuel levy, which is going up by 22 cents, and we've got the uh, road accident fund levy, which is going up by 30 cents. Both of these 52 cents, uh, the price of fuel is going up by 72 cents uh, as of midnight tonight, and it's a big price increase. I think we're looking at around 14 rand 20 for a litre of petrol. We're touching highs that we had in December last year of 14 rand 76, um, and it is certainly bad news for consumers. I think, uh, Dan, when we look at the price increase and we see that it's going to be around 14 rand 20 for a litre of petrol, we're looking at bus, bus companies, transport companies, we're looking at taxi drivers. They're looking at these increases. They're saying, okay, this is a lot of money we're going to have to spend to fill our tanks. How are we going to recover that money? We're going to pass it on to Dan, we're going to pass it on to Leighton, and that's how it's going to work. So when you look at consumers who now have to pay more for goods and services through the VAT increase, um, they're now also going to have to pay more for transport uh, and, and for goods and services that are transported to them. So it is a big problem. I was thinking, I mean, if, if you're a taxi operator and it was just the fuel increase, you might think, hey, I could wait a little bit and absorb yeah. some of that. Yeah. But with the VAT on the back of that, as you said, it's yeah. like a double whammy for you. Sure. So we, we might likely see uh, some taxi fare increases in the near future. I have no doubt we're going to see some taxi fare increases. And for us as the Automobile Association, we are extremely concerned about these increases. Um, yes, the fuel increase would have happened anyway because international petroleum prices are going up, so they're increasing. So we would have had an increase. It wouldn't have, had, wouldn't have been as severe as the 72 cents we're seeing now because of these, uh, these levies that have been added. But certainly, it is very damaging to the poorest of the poor. Where are they going to get this money. Our salary is going to be in line with that. We know that, the, that these increases, these levy increases, were way above inflation. Um, at the time, we suggested that if there were increases to the levies, they should be in the 4 to 6 percent range. We've seen now they in the 11 percent range. So it is a big increase, and unfortunately, the poorest of the poor are going to suffer the most. Yes, but I mean, when it comes to VAT and goods, and everybody now is going to be to be, to be forking up more, yeah. other motorists as well, sure. people who drive their own cars. You know, in South Africa, we, we have this uh, our, our, our own culture that we all drive cars to work yes. and stuff like that. So it's really going to be a tough uh, few months uh, months ahead, particularly yeah. because the economy is still not <coughs> doing that, that, yeah. that much. Although the rand against the dollar has been really at some respectable levels, sure. it's just going to be a tightening of belt exercise across the board, from the poorest of the poor right across the board. 100%. And I think um, one of the things that we would suggest to people is investigate ways to save fuel, investigate ways in which you can save on your monthly fuel bill, carpool, get your children to school with other friends, um, you know, make sure you don't use your air conditioner when you're driving. Maybe if you can walk to a place, uh, Dan, and I know that uh, you will agree that I need it, if you can walk to a place, then walk instead of use your car. Maybe use your bicycle instead as well. Um, you know, these are the types of things we would suggest to people, but certainly tighten your belts and it's going to happen over the next couple of months. I think we are also predicting um, if uh, the international petroleum prices continue to, to increase, we may see increases going further into the Currently the trend has been a little bit upward. Am I wrong the in terms of international upward. fuel price highs? Yeah, the trend has been upward. Look, it's been offset by a pretty stable rand. But I think we've seen since the middle of March, the international petroleum prices have really gained a lot of ground. So, um, you know, if that trend continues and the rand doesn't stabilize against the US dollar, I think we could see more increases in the next few months. Yeah, and then and then fuel-wise, fuel I mean, just from an AA perspective, mm. from the, the levies are once-off, yes. but it's sit embedded in yes. the price going forward. Yes. So no matter what the markets are going to do, fluctuating, sure. you are still going to be having to fork out a 52 cents extra anyway. 100%. So when, so you, when you look ahead it. of the next six months, so mm. to speak, and you are a driver, you're really going to have to think hard about mm. uh, about your, your, your habits. Absolutely. You definitely will have to think hard about your habits. Um, and uh, again, we would say, you know, just look at ways in which you can save petrol. Uh, carpool, maybe look at, uh, at, at other things. Lift clubs. Look, lift when clubs, you say carpool, it's things yeah, like, like lift, lift clubs. clubs. You know, can, can I get my kids to school with friends that live around the corner, that type of thing? Yeah, I don't want to be uh, pessimistic, but I mean, if you look ahead uh, from mm. an AA perspective, uh, we are in an upward kind of trend in terms of fuel prices. It's very difficult to predict because obviously 
obviously we need to look at what's happening with international petroleum prices. If they do continue to rise, then certainly. And we also need to look at um, the other main driver of the fuel price, which is the Rand US dollar exchange rate. If that does stabilize, come down a bit, then maybe we could see decreases. At the moment, I think for the next two or three months at least, we are looking at an upward trajectory. Thank you very much for your time, Leighton. That's a Leighton Beard from the Automobile Association of South Africa. It's bear tightening time across the board. So make